Andrew Drury, who has been to these camps, has talked to these women, um, interviewed Shamima Began several times. Um, now, this is uh, um, new numbers. Um, we're not used to these numbers. And it's a first ever interview with a lady called Wajda Rashid from Leeds, who is another jihadi bride. What do you make of this story, Andrew? Um, funny enough, I was woke up by your message this morning and I saw Sorry in the about paper. That. And I, <laughs> ironically, it's a stolen story by me. Um, I had that story roughly about two years ago, but Reprieve, the apologetic um, human rights group, prevented us from putting the story out on a brother. Oh. So Wadge is just another person um, in that camp alongside another 19 girls. And also, I was listening to your, your guest there talking about Shamima Began and the children. Let me tell you, what about my, my always, my, I would say, what about the victims? Shamima Began was most definitely Hizba, which means she was part of the morality police. What rights have those victims got? We talk about her all the time, but never about the victims. I was in refugee camps talking to the victims. Um, I don't think they'll feel so sorry as we or, or, or some of your, your guests might feel sorry for her. And let's talk about the kids. These kids are trained as the new generation of ISIS. When I went there, they were chucking rocks at us. So let's not feel so apologetic about them either. Andrew, what do you make of the fact that America have put pressure on us to take these um, jihadi brides and their children back? The director of the camps in, in question um, are putting pressure on us to take them back. What do you make of that attitude? Well, the attitude for the Americans is normal American because they've got a girl there that they've also made stateless that they're refusing to take back. So it's a bit ironic that they've come out and said we should take ours back because Shamima's best friend is a, was an American citizen. So maybe they should take theirs back too, if that's what their case. Look, I base my feelings about Shamima about actually, actually knowing her. I'm probably one of the only people that mm, does know her. Mm. And her character is not that nice. Mm. Let's be honest. I mean, why are we so keen to bring her back? For what reason? Mm. Why are we so due back? Oh, because she was once ours or whatever. She didn't want to be um, British. She gave up her passport by leaving this country. She never once tried to escape or get back. It's only now it's a bit hot there or a bit cold there. It's uncomfortable. She doesn't like it anymore. She wants to come back. Now, we, we have been told um, that, you know, it, if we knew what the security forces knew about some of these women, we wouldn't want them back. Do you think they would be a threat to the British public? Um, well, she's, for a bit for, she's a threat for what she stood for. And let me know, we do know what she's done. We do know that she was his, but there's enough evidence, enough witnesses about the suicide, suicide, suicide vest. Mm. And this is a woman, remember, that said the Manchester bombing was legitimate. Remember that? And um, before you're actually feeling sorry for her. I mean, that's my view anyway. No, exactly. And this, this other lady who uh, left Lee, she's 45 years old, uh, Wajda Rashid. Um, did you meet her as well, am I right in thinking? Yeah, I've interviewed her. Right. I interviewed her. She was, she was introduced to me by Shamima. Right. Shamima found her an irritant, this woman. She said, look, can you speak to her? She irritates me. So Shamima's got no sympathy for anybody. So this woman come up with me. She's got shrapnel in her neck, traveling to her brain. Um, the likelihood she will die in that camp um, if she doesn't get help. Because in the summer, the metal inside her neck heats up and in the cold, it freezes and she fits. The sad news is she's got a boy called Adam, who's seven years of age, who will also be the first stateless orphan. And now I do feel slightly sorry for him, but he also chucks rocks at the Western journalists. So a lot of, a lot of work needs to be done on these kids. Mm. We've got to really be careful what we say, oh, we'll bring them back, bring them back. Think hard about that. OK. Andrew, and you've got, I understand, a Danger Zone out on Amazon Prime at the moment, your new film? Yeah, get and watch it, everybody. It's another controversial thing. Um, it's about um, people like myself. I started um, my journalist career. It's about going, to, they would say, for holidays to war zones. Um, but my, I was kind of a bit of an adventure tourist, so it follows my last seven years of journey. Get on Amazon Prime and watch it. It's fantastic. I'm, I'm, in it. I'm sure. Of course, it's going to be marvellous. Andrew, thank you so much for joining us. Andrew, thank Andrew you, Dora. Thank, thank you, so you much. very much.